In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to make a countdown video. We often have something like this running in our church before the beginning of a service. Or you may have a countdown video in a meeting when you have a break and you want people to know when the session is going to begin again. So let's show you a simple way to do that. I'm going to take this image uh, from my media room and just drag it down into track one so that I have something on the background. And then we'll put a countdown item on the upper right. So what I'm going to do then is go to my text tools and I'll drag down a title into track number two so that it will give me my countdown. I'm going to double click on it and then <clears throat> We will go ahead and pick a, um, a font. Let's see, let's try something like this. That looks pretty good. And then we'll modify it a little bit. I don't need, uh, don't need it to be italic. So we'll turn off italic and we'll make it larger. Let's make it uh, pretty big so we can watch what we're doing here. And I'll drag it up here. And uh, I'll go ahead and make this the area where I do my time. And we'll, we'll count down from one minute. <clears throat> and that will be where we'll start at. Uh, and I could say, uh, uh, let's take another text here while we're at it. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then we'll do, drag another one down below that. And we'll double click on that to edit it. And we'll say, um, okay. Well, let's say session resumes in and we'll drag it over in front of the time. And so that will give me my countdown. I'll click on OK. Now, the only thing I have to do is uh, take my countdown and make it count down. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to t take the number and do the duration of it. I'll click on my title slide with the count on it. And then I'll click on duration. We'll set it not to 10 seconds, but to one second. So now it's a second long. I'm going to go ahead and drag the timeline wider so I can see the second. I'll take it and I will go ahead and right click and I'll do a copy. I'll move behind it, move the uh, scrubber behind it. And I'll right click and I will do a paste and I will do paste and insert. Right click again, paste, paste and insert, right click again, paste, paste and insert. Now I'm going to copy all four of them. And I'll do right click, copy. And then I'll do paste, paste and insert. Now I have three, six, eight. So I'll copy all eight this time. It, it, the more you do, the more it speeds up. I'll have them all right click copy okay move the scrubber to the end and I'll go paste paste and insert okay so now I have <clears throat> uh, a number of clips now what I can do then is the first one will be a minute the second one I click on it press the F2 key to get to edit it and I will change this to a zero and then I'll change this number here to 59. Click on OK. I move to the next one. Press the F2 key. And that will be 0. And we'll do a 58. And we could do the same with the next one. F2 to get into edit mode. And it would be have been easier if I would have copied uh, this cell rather than the other one. That way I would have less, less to change. 57. And OK. And then we'll do another one here. And 
and you see the process. Now if I want to play the video, all I need to do is go to the beginning and uh, it will play this way. Okay, I only did a few of the cells. Now it will take some time because if you do what I did in another exercise that I didn't record for you, I did a five minute countdown that involved 300 actual seconds. <laughs> so what I found useful there was I did one minute, which was 60 slides, and then I copied all 60, and then all I had to do was change the first digit. But this is a way in which you can control it. If they're a second long, you get a perfect countdown in your screen. And I'll show you an example of one I did before uh, we end this tutorial. But that's a simple way to build your own countdown timer in CyberLink PowerDirector.